Hey guys. All right. So we're starting lesson five on transcendental functions. I love this uh, definition up here. <clears throat> it says a function which is not uh, algebraic function. In other words, the function transcends. It cannot be expressed in terms of algebra. Uh, exponential functions, trig functions, and inverse functions of both uh, all count. So, uh, so the example one uh, just really has you talking about some pre-cal stuff. Uh, you know, and you've had some of this, but using limit notation. All right, and so, so what we've got here uh, on the very first one is the fact that um, this base being greater than one, we're going to summarize this on the next page, but this base being greater than one um, and being raised to a positive power, of course, is going to cause growth. All right, so we have growth on this one, so it's, it's going to grow. Growth and that is because of that base, okay? And so, and because of that, um, uh, the, the limit as you approach infinity, since it's just gonna grow uh, forever here, uh, is infinity. But all of these exponential functions tend to uh, have a, a minimum or a maximum value, uh, and in this case, it's gonna be negative three. So what's happening is, is I've raised three halves to a, a, a very, very small power, it pretty much just el eliminates all of that. It's gone. And so the only thing I have remaining is the negative three. And that's the, uh, you, you called that a horizontal asymptote back in, uh, back in algebra and pre-calculus. All right. Well, okay, the opposite situation. We have decay. All right. You have decay because of the base being one half. Okay, so since the base is one half, then every single time you move over one, uh, the thing is cut in half. All right, so once again, um, I'll start, I'll, I'll talk here. As you're approaching negative infinity, then, because uh, it had to decay from somewhere, that gives you positive infinity here. And then as you move to the right, then it, then it decays into uh, a horizontal asymptote, in this case, negative three. So there's a kind of flip-flop there, okay? All right, then down here, this gets really good. Um, okay, so we've got a base uh, of E, so that would, uh, right on this one, so that would be growth. Uh-oh, but the negative one cause a reflection, so it's a reflection. <laughs> this is weird to say, but I kind of like it. Reflected growth because of the negative. All right. And so since that happened, something that normally would go up like this one right here, it was reflected because of the, the negative. You have kind of the same situation as before, except uh, it's going to fall. It's going to decrease. All right. And so as I approach uh, negative infinity, it's, uh, since it's going to decrease, it's going to, as I go to the left, then it's going to close in on that two. And on the right hand side, it's going to go, it's going to just drop. All right, so reflected growth. <laughs> so, so if I say that really to make that proper, that would be decreasing. Okay, and up here, uh, growth only increasing, and then this one's decreasing the whole time. Okay, so what's happening here? Well, because of uh, the one half, I have decay. There you go <laughs> and then reflect it again so it's reflected and it was decaying and so since that happened that makes the function increase so you have to kind of look at both of those you have to look at the base and you have to look at this coefficient here and uh to see what's happening and with a uh base of one half that typically would it, it is a decay but then when it's reflected you're increasing and so since that was a decay that was reflected, then as we approach uh, positive infinity, we approach the asymptote. And as we approach negative infinity, it had to increase from somewhere. So it increased from negative infinity. Okay. All right. Here we go. Let's do it again. All right. Now, uh, the two thirds would be a decay, but that's a negative exponent. So, so really, it's, a, it's two thirds the base is really can be considered two thirds to the negative one, which uh, the negative one exponent is also called the reciprocal. So that would be the same as three over two. 
and this is growth. All right, so this is going to increase because of that. And there is nothing in front, no coefficient in front to cause it to be reflected. Oops. All right, so once again, um, as I approach infinity, it's going to go up forever because it's increasing. All right, but uh, where is it coming from? This, the, the limit as you approach negative infinity is this horizontal asymptote at one. It'll never be smaller than that because this thing could approach zero, but, but you're always going to have that plus one. Same thing here. This thing could fall forever because of the negative, but, it's going, but the two is, is, is like the, the upper bound. Two is upper bound, all right? Negative two is, uh, in this case, lower bound because you've got two, your base is two to the negative one, okay, which is the same as one half. And that, therefore, is decay, and that is decreasing. Or decreasing, however you want to say it. And then, so since it's decaying, it's, uh, and it's coming from, uh, so, uh, from above, then on the left-hand side, it's negative infinity. Ah! <laughs> Sorry. Positive infinity. Sorry about that. And then we have our uh, horizontal asymptote here at negative two. Okay. All right. So there's only thing that could happen uh, in behavior. All right. Either we approached uh, a horizontal asymptote. Asymptote. English language, man. Look at all that stuff that's silent. Asymptote. Hmm. So, okay. All right, then, uh, so either it had a horizontal asymptote, which you could see, or you're heading to infinity or, or negative infinity. There's only things that can happen on these. Okay. And, ooh, I like this. So the horizontal asymptote, let me go ahead and draw to the standard notation here what's happening. Okay, so now on the second part down here, they're talking about uh, the base and then this coefficient. So if the, and, and on both of these, it's just the, uh, uh, the, co the uh, coefficient uh, being positive on both of them, and then what's happening with the, the base. So I kind of like this. So if the base is greater than one, then you're gonna grow, right? And if the base is in between zero and one, then you're gonna decay, all right? So that's good. Oh, I like that. It says growth and decay are not synonymous with increasing and decreasing. No, because the A can uh, totally affect it, right? Whether or not it's going up or going down. Okay. So oh, examples of that. All right. Very nice. Okay. So on this one, um, this is example three already. Oh, that was two. Okay. So example three, uh, on the very first one, we have uh, the base is three halves. Okay, and it's increasing because uh, A is not causing a reflection. There's not, a, there's not an A there. So this one's increasing. All right, so, so, it's going, so what's going to happen is then, as you go to the left, it's going to increase. The graph is going to look like uh, this. So it's going to increase to infinity. And then to the left, then, is where the, the horizontal asymptote comes in. Okay. So that's going to be negative three. Okay. Ah, so, all right, this one, though, we have a base that's E, you know, 2.71, but it's decreasing. Because of a reflection. And I'll call that A. So A is negative one. All right. So what does that mean? Well, it was supposed to look like this one. But then it got, uh, but then it got flipped upside down because of the negative. So it was kind of, it was going to go like that. But then the the uh, the negative a caused it to do this. So once again, we still have this uh, horizontal asymptote, but it's going to be at two. Oh, pa. Uh, two. Sorry. <laughs> but then, as you go to infinity, it's heading down. Okay. Ah. Well, on this one. Um, 
I think we should really think of the base as two thirds to the negative one. which is reciprocal. So that's gonna be three over two. Oh, that's growth then, right? So that's got a, positive, a base that's causing it to increase. So it's got an increase. All right, uh, uh, just like we saw before, it's gonna look like that, like, you know, if you were to graph it, right? So, and then, um, so as I'm coming from the left, then that's where the horizontal asymptote will take place, that's one. And then uh, you're increasing forever, so. Yay, 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 yay. All right, now some decay. All right, so so on this one, our base is uh, one half. Okay, so what do those do? Well, those uh, do this kind of thing. They're gonna decrease, decrease, but they decrease like this. So here's the, uh, and it goes, uh, and then something like that. That's what they normally do, not this one though. This is, I'm just saying what, what they normally would do. And then this would approach the horizontal asymptote. Okay, so uh, let me make sure I'm doing these in the right order. So as I, so since I'm coming from, it's decreasing and it's not been reflected, it's coming down from the top, then as I go to the left, that's positive infinity. Okay, but I'm approaching the horizontal asymptote this way. In this case, it happens to be negative three. Just looking at that constant right there. All right, what about this one? All right, so the base is a half. once again, just like the last one. So we would expect that to be uh, decay, uh, and it is, but the we have a reflection. So this thing uh, was going to do like the previous one, right? But now it's been reflected, so it's going to look like this. Okay? And that's because A is negative 1. So A equals negative 1. That causes these two kind of to cancel each other out. And we and and we have uh, increasing. All right. So then coming from the, the it's, it's now increasing. So since it, this one that had the a that was positive was coming down from positive infinity, this one's coming up from negative infinity. But I'm traveling to the left, so that heads to negative infinity, and then our asymptote. Okay. All right. This one's good because it's a little bit in disguise. The base is two to the base is 2 to the negative 1. See how I'm, I'm, I'm just grabbing that negative exponent and putting there? That's 1 half. Oops. <laughs> Pretend like that's good. Oh, that's just like this one, right? So it's going to be decreasing because it's decay, right? And it's going gonna, it's gonna to look like that. And so, so to the left then, again, is a positive infinity, just like uh, this one up here. And then we're approaching our asymptote to the right, which is negative 2. Yay. All right. Not bad. Not bad. Ooh, and then we'll, we'll practice some of those. Okay, so this will be pretty short tonight. All right. Start